we're talking about PETA. PETA is an organization that exists to protect animals. And I agree that animal cruelty is a problem and we should probably rethink how we do farming, especially with livestock. But PETA basically advocates for you to treat animals like they are people. And I am not in that camp. I like meat. Okay, I'm going to be upfront about that. And I don't look at a chicken as a conscious being deserving my respect. And also, I don't want to listen to anything PETA has to say. If they tell me to do something, I kind of want to do the opposite because uh, they are such hypocrites. They are a terrible organization. They have been involved in so many scandals involving animal cruelty. So like, I think everyone in this organization is probably a lunatic. I don't even know why they still exist or why anybody respects them because dude, they are so bad. But recently PETA tweeted something that popped up in my timeline because why wouldn't it? And they said, think twice before ordering that chicken sandwich. T-Rexes wouldn't approve of you eating their descendant. If you wouldn't eat T-Rex, don't eat a chicken. This is the thing, PETA. I would absolutely eat a T-Rex. Are you out of your mind? Why would I not try a T-Rex if I had the chance? Are you serious? And then also, if we really were in a position where T-Rexes currently existed still, we probably wouldn't be farming them for livestock because they're too powerful. They're big lizard things. Okay, we, we don't really farm gators either. It'd be really hard to. So I don't think we'd do it with a T-Rex. So with that being the case, if I killed a T-Rex and ate it, that's fair game, okay? This dude is an apex predator. If I killed a T-Rex and ate its flesh, that is fair game. It could literally kill me with one hit, okay? If I manage to kill it and eat it, that's fair game. But their whole argument is that chickens are T-Rexes and vice versa. Therefore, you shouldn't eat chickens. And personally, like, I think chickens are the worst animal to use in terms of garnering sympathy from people and telling them not to eat meat because chickens are one of the dumbest animals to ever exist and they're literally cannibals. I don't care about chickens at all. They are so unbelievably stupid. And if one of their brethren bleeds, they'll literally eat them alive. I don't respect chickens and you probably shouldn't either. That doesn't mean that we shouldn't make their living conditions better before we kill them and eat them. But chickens are just the worst animal to use for this. If you're going to use any animal to say that eating meat is bad, it should be cows. Cows have a lot of dog-like behaviors and they're generally pretty cute. So that's a way better thing to use. Chickens just look dopey and they look evil. They just look like Satan, okay? And they're not nice, okay? Chickens will just peck at anything they want to. Cows, on the other hand, will try to be gentle with people. They're like pretty empathetic animals. If you're going to use anything for your cause, it should be cows. And PETA also tweeted this TikTok and I don't know where they got their info from because um, that's just, this is just not correct. Chickens are incredibly unique sophisticated animals who no they're not they literally aren't they are the stupidest things to ever live besides koalas okay what do you mean they're, they're, they're smart animals no they're not chickens have complex social structures and more than 30 types of vocalizations to distinguish between threats oh my god chickens have complex social structures that's why when one of them bleeds they start eating them alive yeah that's super complex i don't understand why advocates for veganism and vegetarianism push all of these points like people care okay you're hitting all the wrong strings here you saying that chickens are smart animals makes me want to go to chick-fil-a okay they are so unbelievably stupid you, you can't defend it out of all the animals you pick chickens even pigs are smart why would you use pigs like maybe chickens are smart and like they just have really weird instincts or something where they you know cannibalize their own but it's like i don't know i wouldn't look at an ant colony and be like damn those ants are like really smart they're all working together no that's just how they are they have prehistoric roots and are the closest living relative to the tyrannosaurus rex they're the closest living relative to the t-rex cool I really don't care because that dude's been dead for like how many millions of years? A, a, a lot of them, I can tell you that much. Their hens teach calls to their chicks before their eggs even hatch and will do anything to defend their young from predators. I don't like the phrasing of teaching, quote unquote, with this. You're making it sound like they're consciously teaching their young and the young are consciously learning. That's just not how it works. They're not capable of reasoning out language. No other animal on earth as of now that we know of is capable of speaking the human language or any kind of like complex language every time we've tried to communicate with animals and teach them language they can't do it because we have a unique part of our brain that allows us to have speech a chicken does not have a unique part of the brain that allows for complex speech they just don't they're making noises and they learn that way that's it it's probably more instincts than anything else it's it's, it's not it's not like a conscious learning experience okay and also before one of you say but coco the gorilla could talk that that is a total sham coco the gorilla could never talk it was a it, it was a bust okay i'll link a video down below that goes super in depth on it but like coco the gorilla could not talk. The caregivers basically translated for, for Coco all of the time. And whenever Coco would talk, they just fill in the gaps. They would just assume things. So they wanted it to be true. It, it didn't actually happen. And just like humans, they can dream and experience rapid eye movement. And they can both see and dream in full color. 
Okay, the REM sleep thing, I, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure most animals that have to sleep have REM. I think it's like a really common thing. And seeing in full color, that is just how their eyes work. It has nothing to do with intelligence. Don't a lot of animals see in full color? I know dogs are colorblind. Okay, for my quick Google search, it seems that all birds have full color it's just kind of like part of being a bird and cats are like somewhat colorblind they don't see exactly the same way but like that's just a species thing that is that has nothing to do with them being intelligent or something like plus chickens possess pain receptors that allow them to feel pain and distress yet billions of them are horrifically killed for eggs and meat every year chickens had pain receptors i thought that was like a given i thought everybody knew that like animals had pain receptors they all do it's part of being a living creature how do you know when to avoid danger if you don't know what's dangerous like even fish have pain receptors i'm pretty sure they're different to like people and other animals but they feel something in regards to quote unquote pain i just don't know exactly how it works or like how different it is but like this isn't new we we all know this right i i I think so. Okay, after watching that god awful TikTok, I just realized that that TikTok with the little watermark is the official PETA TikTok, which so explains why it's uh, it's it's so stupid. Like, I don't know. I'm not against you being a vegan or a vegetarian if that's what you believe, but it's like personally, you have to give me a case as to why chickens are conscious creatures that experience life in a similar way to I do. You can't just be like, well, they're smart animals because this and that. Because I don't believe you. I've seen too many videos of these awful creatures killing their own because they were already bleeding. And it's like, I agree, okay? I think we should make farming conditions for livestock better. I, I agree with that. But trying to tell me that I'm a terrible, terrible person for eating one of the dumbest animals alive. No. Why am I gonna buy into your cause that way, huh? You can't shame me into not eating meat when there's a Chick-fil-A down the goddamn street. It's not gonna work. And also, this is just very funny. Uh, buying a pure red dog kills a shelter dog chance at adoption every dog is valuable no matter, no matter their breed and that's really funny because PETA literally abducted some kid's dog and then killed it within like three hours or something they're not a good organization I don't know why they still exist or why they get any respect from anybody because they are so brain dead and it's like end speciesism in their bio okay when you can show me that chickens are actually intelligent smart conscious creatures that have sentience will end speciesism okay it's such a shame too because it's like animal cruelty and businesses is actually a problem and i agree it's a problem but peter just takes the most insane lunatic approach to these issues that nobody wants to listen to them at least people who are sane don't want to listen to them because like imagine you're having a conversation with a friend and you bring up that you want to go get chicken and then your friend tells you you shouldn't eat chicken because it's it's a descendant of a t-rex like that has any real world value to you at all you're gonna think he's crazy for even bringing it up like it like, I don't know, man. Like, it, it's not going to work. It, it's just not going to work. And it's like, there's such a better way to go about this than shaming people for eating chicken when it's just a T-Rex. Like, oh, you want to eat a T-Rex? Yes, I would. Yes, I would. And PETA also had this whole thing where they're like, oh, yeah, Minecraft's also bad because there's animal cruelty in Minecraft. You have to kill cows and sheep to, you know, get resources and stuff. And it's just like, dude, no one's going to take you seriously if you're saying video game animal cruelty is a thing yeah it could be a thing right but it's like saying video game war crimes exist yeah they do but it's in a video game bro it's not related at all like i don't know why people are still hung up on video game violence causing real life violence because there has been so many studies disproving that like you can't even cite general crime statistics because ever since video games crime has gone down so saying that Minecraft causes like animal cruelty or something, that animal cruelty in Minecraft is a problem is absurd. And they also try to say Animal Crossing was bad because you like fish in Animal Crossing. And I think trying to make eating fish a problem is like one of the most absurd things you could do. Like out of all the animals, I care about fish the least. They show no signs of intelligence. They look dopey as hell. And it's like they're fish. They don't even live on land. I care the least about fish. And to be clear, if you're like a vegetarian or a vegan or something, that's totally fine, okay? If you have your own reasons for going that route in life, that's completely fine. I have no issues with that. And it's like, if you wanna talk about the effects of like factory farming and stuff and actually go over why you think it's a problem, that's also fine. But don't try to guilt me into your cause because then I wanna eat more meat out of spite. But what do you think about PETA? Let me know in the comments down below. Like and subscribe if you're new and follow me on Twitter at Spatins1 and click the answers now to check out more of my content and have a good one.